morning and I'm here to tell you about a video that I heard and listened to just a few weeks ago and it was basically a State of the Union address and it had Obama speaking with a pre-recorded announcement of what to do and how to hold on for a few more days and then we'll be getting you to uh, FEMA distribution centers and um, you know the roads are pretty potted up right now so I know that America's always been strong and and hang in there and we'll get back to you in a couple of days and and tell you how to take care of things and it said and I've called in as my special advisors uh, George W Bush and Bill Clinton and we're gonna get together and do a triunal government to help get us through this national disaster um, thank you so much for, for your time and so on and um, the person who made this recording was discussing with a very famous talk show host for exposés on how the rest of the the video that they had talked to and the rest of the recording dealt with sending people to Walmart distribution centers and they said that they believed that this was a pre-recorded video that um, Obama and all the administrative people would already be in underground bunkers and then they would bomb ourselves bomb the US and blame it on Russia and I'd like to say that you know no matter what happens um, we all know that 9-11 was an inside job how do you explain tower number seven going down hours later with never a plane or anything striking it apparently that was in the agreement as well and when that plane didn't come in it just all of a sudden ignited by inside explosions and melted and a complete implosion not an explosion but each one of the three buildings were imploded designating a high use of internal explosives necessary to get the temperatures up to a sufficient height to where they started to melt not where the explosions happened but structurally from where they stood so apparently this was a leaked video and I've gone back online I saved it in several places and each of the places it's been exterminated it says sorry this video is gone and and so it's not there anymore so somebody has definitely gotten a hold of um, that that is a video that not should have been leaked and was and to have it discussing what's going to happen after Russia bombs us supposedly remember I don't believe that this is possible and I'll tell you why because Putin has gone on hundreds of interviews over and over again don't you realize what you've done can't you go back to your own people and tell them what I'm telling you here today um, he said that when he had a, a news conference with many many reporters from all over the world um, just in a room just with these reporters and he went over with them in great detail how America is trying to do things to create the illusion of some false flag and they have prepared for and gotten ready the issues of Black Lives Matter who if you look at the gentleman who's at the top is living in a house that's owned by Mr. Soros a, a longtime confidant and one of the key money makers decision makers whatever you have it um, in the world and has been behind groups to start whole coups in other nations including in the Ukraine area um, is said to be an operation that is both by Soros and Hillary so you have you have all these things that are going on and you have Mr. Putin standing up a hundred times saying go back and tell your people the truth I don't understand why you can't go back and tell your people the truth and we haven't had free media since 1980 and it was just all of a sudden you turn on the news and you see that everything is absolutely one-sided and it's to push 
that a few people are climbing all over each other to see who's going to be the power at the top and be in charge of a new world order. And you can't have a new order when everything is going fine and great and dandy. So you have Mr. Obama creating and training and sending out uh, Daesh, ISIL, ISIS. And now it's is, which I find quite interesting. That means that the rest of the steps are about to fall through because the Bible speaks of the devil as being is because that's all he is. He wasn't created in the in the long time past. He was a created angel and he'll be thrown into hell. So he isn't was and he isn't will be. He's only is. So as terrible as things get, please remember that hold on to Jesus, hold on to your crown, and the is will soon be not and will be gone. So the instances which happened, which would prove that certainly um, Putin is not behind this faked catastrophe that will happen, begins with, if you remember, the large truck bomb, which immediately after, immediately after the Paris Bataclan attacks, there was a international summit planned for the next day that was supposed to be on climate change. And all the leaders were gathered together for it. Obama was in bed. He gets up. And two hours later, there's an entirely different printed discourse talking about we're now an international coalition. And coalition means what? I mean, do you see the Congo manufacturing bombs? No. You only see the U.S. and the U.K. behind the manufacturing, and then they get sold to Saudi and so forth. So this international coalition is simply the current U.S. administration being able to hide behind certain key eminent immediate attacks. And whenever, oh, our total is now at 200,000 Christians that have been bombed and killed by U.S. drone strikes all over the world. I mean, whole villages that don't have anything. They're dirt floors um, in their houses, dirt roads going through their village they're using a donkey and and a pull behind plow to plant their fields they have nothing they don't have tanks and brand new fleets of toyota trucks driving down the street they have absolutely nothing so why would a little school of middle school children be bombed in the middle of nowhere because it was a Christian school. So our administration is actively engaged in the killing of Christians. You have Paris Bataclan attacks happen. Two hours later, a complete alliance of 40 some nations is done, presented and signed, boom. There's terror. We're now gonna have to run out and attack this terror. And so immediately after that, um, Russia steps up, and I remember in the days, like three or four days, just preceding the attack on Paris, horrible, horrible attack that happened. Um, Bataclan had just been sold by a Zionist group. Same thing has happened with 9-11 and the towers. Uh, but they retained insurance rights, and they had a, a big payoff over the many, many people that died. And you had police officers that gave interviews that said, we're standing in the streets. Why aren't we going in? Why aren't we going in? I don't understand. Well, they had to let their main person, Salah Abdeslam, escape. He had to finish his part and escape so that they can use him later on. So now you have the 40 Nation Alliance that pops up two hours after the Paris Bataclan attacks and say, we're going to make a war on terror. Sounds exactly like the axis of evil from 9-11. And you see pictures of Putin rushing up to Obama, and they're giving each other the handshake for the press, and Putin looks like the cat that ate the pigeon. He's just smirking up one side and down the other, and Obama's like, Ugh. you know, because he wasn't invited 
to this conference. You have 40 nations. And two hours later, paper is signed. We're all this alliance. We're great and happy friends. But Putin was an alliance. So now you have the war effort to get the terrorists out of Syria being Putin and the U.S.-led coalition. Well, it just got formed 10 minutes ago. Why was Putin excluded from that? Well, he was never planned on being a part of it to begin with, but it was the only one that was invited there by Syria and by Assad. So they go rushing in, and instead of 200 runs in a year, they did like 900 runs in two months and kicked the shit out of all of the ISIL, ISIS, Daesh, Ayaz that there was there. Next thing you know, you see this giant truck full of explosives pulling into the compound where the Russians had set up their base. And in the explosion that ensued, 27 Russian generals were killed in that attack. And you don't hear a single word about it from anyone in the media. So Russia pulls out and they go home. And Assad is like, please, please, they're going to run over until they destroy, you know, my whole country, this whole people. And you start seeing artifacts being sold in all the fancy antique houses in London. I'd like to go through the palaces and residences of the elite of the UK and see how many ancient artifacts from Syrian temples and churches and historical sites and such all of a sudden magically appear there. Including two of the arches from the Temple of Baal. Now the Temple of Baal is supposed to be instrumental in opening up um, dimensions to other worlds and such, and one was constructed in the United Kingdom, and the other one was constructed or reconstructed, put back together near Central Park in America. And you have Bernie Sanders giving his goodbye so long speech under the arch of the Temple of Baal to signify Illuminati and the New World Order and that he did as he was told, which is basically call out all of the young voters and let's get them on the rolls so we know where and who everybody is. Because Bernie Sanders, as you remember, said that he was going to run the whole length. And he pulls out days before the election. And all of the machines show fraud. And he's not jumping up and down and yelling. So you now you see him with a part, a piece of this puzzle. And Russia has been cast out, or rather they, they, they left. They went home after 27 of their generals were killed in this one attack. Then you see the M-17, the Malaysia Airlines, being shot down, which at the time, immediately after it was shot down, there was on the news all over the place about how um, these were old missiles that came from um, Israeli Zionist-controlled sites in different parts of Western Union, which went up and shot down the plane. You had reports of um, Mr. Putin be on the, on the way home from having a BRICS talk with President Rousseff. And if you look at the radar lines, there's the plane that was shot down and two other planes passing by at that same time. And supposedly Mr. Putin has the technology given him to him by sources we will not disclose in this video, um, which switched the call signs of the two planes. So this Israeli-owned missile site somewhere was directed by the American administration to fire on Putin's plane and try to attack, assassinate him. And you can hear references to this in jokes that Putin made when he talks about the Chelsea Manning incident. And he's like, so why did you wait until he was in Russia to announce that you're going to attack him and try to expedite him and take him back? You know, we, we all know that you don't have any problems with trying to shoot down planes of presidents when they're in the air. I'm sure you could have let him gotten onto another plane 
and and then ask that plane to land in a nation which was friendly to your extradition request and and they would have sent him back we just simply don't have that extradition arrangement we've been asking for an arrangement that would uh, give us extradition capabilities and that desire is absolutely not there because of certain scientists which have been taken by the United States out of Russia and was last working in the um, top secret facility in El Segundo, um, TRW, supposedly, which is a company which does um, credit checks and such on people. And that that's where the gentleman is that Russia is trying to get their hands on. So America does absolutely not want to have any Russian extradition laws because of this man that's in hiding probably at the TRW center in El Segundo, California. The long and the short of it is that we have attacked Russia numerous, numerous times. We tried to assassinate him. We shot down the wrong plane. It was MH17. Why would anyone, you know, risk international involvement and such to shoot down a plane from Malaysia? You know, a place that a lot of people have never even heard of. Well, it was because the call signals were switched, and they thought that they were shooting down President Putin's plane. And you have the 27 generals that died. And you have all this action that's happening, and other world leaders going to Putin and flashing him secret signals, which have been captured on film, warning him to back off. Because... Putin is the only one that's been fighting the New World Order taking over. You know, he started his, his own alliance with, with President Rousseff and some other nations to make bricks, and they would control their own monetary supply and their own price of trading for oil and everything, which basically would throw America out of the system. And the 40-nation coalition, which was struck up hours after the Paris Bataclan attacks happened, um have now been proven to be another false flag from America. So right now, Putin's the only one that's been standing up against the New World Order and against this fake, we're going to drop a bomb on ourselves and we're going to play this pre-recorded announcement saying everybody just hang on and we'll tell you what centers to go to. And now the video itself has disappeared. Um, we're in we're in dangerous times. So they've they've lined up Black Lives Matter that maybe we'll do it by pushing a race riot, or maybe we'll do it by bombing ourselves, or maybe we'll do it by another agenda. But the dollar and all that has basically already collapsed. The uh, announcement by the Pentagon saying that they've lost six and a half million dollars in accounting errors. Actually, it was six and a half trillion, six and a half trillion, I'm sorry, of accounting errors. How can you make an accounting mistake for six and a half trillion dollars? And the fact that nobody's looking at is that that's the figure for 2015. They're not saying what the, the amount is that they lost for 2016. And the reason why Building 7 never went down in the Twin Towers collapse is because that's where the information was or the main center was for the um, different CIA operations that were going on. And so when you want to lose a bunch of information, you just happen to make it stored at one of the sites that gets blown up because it was definitely an implosion. And we know that it was staged because the news events by the newscasters, Channel 7, as she's standing in the window of one building, and she's talking about how Tower 7, you know, just, just went down and we've been attacked and all this, is still standing behind her. So, and from the news reports of the Paris Bataclan attacks, where the police officers are standing outside and they're saying, why can't we go in? Well, what are we waiting for? Why are we not going in? And it's because they had to wait for their planners to get out of the building because they put a lot of money and time into them and they want to use them for future attacks. So the end of all this is Russia has been a huge friend of the world in standing up to the New World Order 
and all these different false flag attacks, where there's by riots or where there's by us bombing ourselves and saying that Russia did it, um, this is just absolutely horrendous. And I, and I pray that everyone will wake up and will see what's going on and will start researching. There's enough information out there if you're researching it, but with all the chemtrails and everything else that's going down to dumb down the population, you know, these trails are all of a sudden leaking gases, six or seven of them crisscrossing the sky right before dawn every morning so that nobody sees the chemtrails. You need to get up and go outside and see that they're dumbing everyone down. They're putting subliminals in the general news that comes on the TV. When they've owned it and they're putting mind control and, and subliminal messages in the news since 1980, you've got a population of vegetables basically. So please, everyone wake up and know that if a bomb hits between now and January 20th, it won't be the Russians. It'll be us. And another false flag to hide the banking collapse. Because the idiots that did it in 08 are doing it again on a far grander scale. That was merely the practice. They ran out of money um, already a month ago. And they're just covering things up until they decide which one of the attacks they're going to use. In all likelihood, they'll wait until just after Christmas. Because as we know, Hillary's main friends is Goldman Sachs and all the banks. And they want all the money people to continue making money. So they're not going to ruin the holidays, probably. Unless it's just for effect of, you know, getting everyone into a mass hysteria. But once Christmas is over... Between then and January 20th, the gloves are off. And if Russia happens to bomb us during this time, it's not Russia. So, I just please do what you can to get to who you can. And tell all the people in Congress to stand up. In eight years, not to have one single veto? Please. You know, when they asked Reagan to do some of this stuff back in the old days, and they said, we've gone into the future, we've traveled, we have been provided with these uh, flying machines and stuff to go into the future and see that in the, in the end, we win. Well, they don't exactly win, but that's what the devil's all about, is lies. So they took them, different people, to different spots in the future and, and showed them um, after this collapse and when the three... Bill Clinton, George W., and Obama are in power and have basically dissolved our government and moved to the UN building and declared themselves as kings over the earth. That's what's in order right now. Um, the only thing we can do is pray. The Bible says it, it, it will happen eventually. It'd be nice if somebody would stand up and, and fight them now. And, and say, we know what's happening, and you should at least stand up and, and declare yourselves. Because we all need to stand up and declare ourselves which side that we're on. So I hope to see you all in, in heaven, my friend, and just know that the Russians didn't do it. Obama did. Thank you so much, and if you'd like to help with our ministry, please send us a note and let us know what you think of things. And send it to buffalo study at yahoo.com. Or if you'd like to assist in a more financial way, put it to PayPal forward slash and then buffalo study at yahoo.com. Thank you so much. And remember, you need to repent and take Jesus into your heart and be ready. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to fight the wiles of the devil which are coming. Because it's coming fast, my friend. Take care and God bless.